the word skewness literally denoted asymmetry or lack of symmetry and the word skewed denoted by asymmetrical there are three quartile q1 q2 q3 q1 is n by 4 q2 is n by 2 q3 is 3n by 4 when you put the 58 point put the zero here directly we can take as d dash i have taken d and d dash we can take directly d dash 0 1 2 3 4 5 Hello my dear student I am Dr B S Subramanya call my name Dr B S S professor in commerce and management vidyashram facility college at temple of excellence mysuru in this session i am going to hand business statistics third semester unit 2 session 1 bcom in favor of skewness i am going to explain what is skewness and the problems related to that the word skewness is used to denote the extent of asymmetric in data if the frequency distribution is asymmetric it is said to be skewed the word skewness literally denoted asymmetry or lack of symmetry and the word skewed denoted by asymmetrical then measure of skewness can be both absolute as well as relative since the systematic distribution is mean median and mode are identical the more than the mean moves away from the mode the larger the asymmetric of skewness the following are the important measure measuring the skewness so which are the method we are going to adopt for measuring the skewness we'll move on now the formulas carl pearson coefficient of skewness in examination they will mention the name So this will ask for 10 marks, sometimes for 15 marks. So you must be sure that which method you have to adopt. So it is a coral pair sum skewness. They will take mean minus mode over standard deviation. If the method is ill defined, mode lies in highest frequency. If the highest frequency repeat, then the formula is 3 into mean minus median over standard deviation. So in regular means, it is mean. Minus mode divided by standard deviation. If the mode is ill-defined, means if the highest mode always lies in the highest frequency. If the highest frequency repeats, then we have to apply the formula three into mean minus median over standard deviation. This method is based on quartile. There are three quartile: Q1, Q2, Q3. Q1 is n by four. Q2 is n by 2, Q3 is 3n by 4. Then we'll apply formula. Q1 is equal to L1 plus n by 2 minus C of over F into C. Same thing goes to what's called Q2 also. Same thing goes to Q3 also. Only change. First is n by 4. Next is n by 2. Next is 3n by 4. Then we apply the formula. Q3 plus Q1 minus 2m. This is nothing but Q2. Q3 minus Q. This is called Bolle's coefficient of skewness. It varies between point positive or negative one. It should not be more than one. The answer should not be more than one. This method is particularly useful in case of open-ended distribution where extreme values are present. Also, when position measures are called for skewness, should be measured by the Bolle's method. Uh, we'll move on to problem now slowly. This is a problem. First problem. Calculate the Carl Pearson coefficient of skewness. They will give the x and they will give the frequency. What is the first step to do? Add the frequency. Four plus seven, eleven, twenty, thirty-eight, forty-three, fifty-three, sixty-three. Say this is called number of frequency. Think the lowest value you put as a zero. The lowest value here is six. Put as a zero. Difference is six and twelve. Difference is six. Six and eighteen difference is twelve. Six and twenty-four difference is eighteen. Six and thirty difference is twenty-four. Six and thirty-six difference is thirty. Six and forty-two difference is thirty-six. So you put the lowest number as a zero. Then take the difference, which is the lowest number six. You put as a zero. Difference is six. Difference is twelve. Difference is eighteen. Difference is twenty-four. Difference is thirty. Difference is thirty-six. Then d dash. 
first number as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then multiplied by f, f t dash. 4 into 0 is 0, 7 ones are 7, 9 twos are 18, 18 threes are 54, 15 fours are 60, 10 fives are 50, 5 six are 30. Add the figure, 7 plus 8, 15, 19, 1 plus 1, 2, plus 5, 7, 13, 18, 20, 219 is sigma ft dash. ft dash square, what is ft dash square? ft dash into d dash, this is ft dash square is ft dash into d dash, this is ft dash square. Ft dash into d. 0 into 0 is 0. 7 ones are 7. 18 twos are 36. 54 threes are 162. 16 to 4 is 240. 15 to 5 is 250. 13 to 6 is 180. Add the figure. This is 7 plus 6, 13, 15. 1 plus 3, 4, 10, 14, 19, 27. 2 plus 1, 3. 5, 7, 8, 8, 75. Then apply the formula. Here, A is the assumed mean of the lowest value in the x value. We take as I what's the formula? Mean is equal to A plus sigma ft dash divided by n into c. A is called assumed, that is 0. ft dash is the total. n is equal to number of frequency. c is called class interval. The difference interval we say. So, which is assumed 6 plus your sigma ft dash is 219, number of frequency 68, difference is here 6 is the difference. 6 is the difference. If you, so, 219 divided by 68 into 6, it will come 25.32. Then we will move on. Standard deviation formula root of ft dash square minus sigma f t dash divided by n whole square into c. It is 875 divided by 68 minus 219 divided by 68 whole square into c. If we simplify with the help of the calculator, the answer is 9.48. Then mode lies in highest frequency. If you look up to the problem, which is the highest frequency here? 18 is the highest frequency. So mode lies under 24. I have written this, Z by inspection method is 24, 18 is the highest frequency, therefore Z is equal to 24, mode lies in highest frequency, which is the highest frequency, 18, so mode lies, so mode goes in favor of 24, apply. Carl Pearson question of skewness is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation, 25.32 minus 24 divided by 9.48, the answer is 0 0.1392. Your answer should be less than 1. The answer comes 0 0.1392. We'll move on to second problem. Here, compute the corporation of schoolness, mass, above 58, above 59, above 60, above 61, above 62, above 63. Here, number of students, 100, 98, 90, 76, 50, all diminishing order. Above 58 means, what's numbers? 59, 58, 59, 59, 60, 60, 61, 61, 62, 62, 63, 63, 64. We have to construct like this. 58, 59, 59, 60, 61, 62, 62, 63, 63, 64. Then here 100 minus 98 is 2. First you have to write 98 minus 90 is 8. 90 minus 76 is 14. 76 minus 57 is 42. Here 76 minus 57. 57 minus 53, last number, 15 has to be retired. Difference between first and second, second and third, third and fourth, fourth and fifth, last number should be raised. The number should be equal to 100, highest mass number should be equal to. Then make the CF 2, 2 plus 8, 10, 10 plus 14, 24, 24 plus 19 is 43, 
43 plus 42 is 85, 85 plus 15 is 100. I will repeat, first number is 2, 2 plus 8, 10, 10 plus 14, 24, 24 plus 19 is 43, 43 plus 42 is 85, 85 plus 15 is 100. Then take the mid value, add these to be 58 plus 59 divided by 2, you will become 58.5. 59.5, Put first number as 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, three. this is D dash, D, D dash, same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then multiplied by frequency, 2 into 0 is 0. 8 ones are 8, 14 twos are 28. 19 threes are 57, 42 into 4 is 168, 15 fives are 75. We can say D and D dash as one and the same. I will take as a D, then D dash also same, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15 into 5 is 75. F D dash square, F D dash into D dash, 0 into 0 is 0, 8 ones are 8, 22 to 56, 57 into 3 is 171. 168 into 4 is 672, 75 into 5 is 375. Here, when you put the 58 point, put the 0 here directly, we can take as D dash. I have taken D and D dash, we can take directly D dash, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then multiplied by frequency, then FT dash square is FT dash into D dash, it will become totally 1000. 8 plus 8, 16, 23, 31, 36. 3 plus 2, 5, 10, 16, 23. Then 8 plus 6, 14, 15, 17, 22. 2 plus 5, 7, 14, 21, 28, 2 plus 1, 3, plus 6, 9, plus 3, 2. Apply. I already given the formula. Mean is equal to A, sigma Ft dash divided by N into C. What's your A? Mid value. We have put it 0 here. 58.5. 58.5 as assumed here assumed. Then what is sigma ft dash 336 number of frequency 100 and class interval 58 to 59 is 1. So if you simplify this it will one come 61.8 say. Then we will move on mode. Mode lies in highest frequency here which is the highest frequency here. If you see that highest frequency 42 is the highest frequency, 42 is F1, behind is F0, next is F2, 62, 63 is called model class, which is the highest frequency, 42 is the F1, behind is F0, forward is F2, apply L1, I have 62, 61, F1, 19, F1 is 42, F2 is 15 and C is equal to 1, apply, mode is equal to L1 plus F1 minus F0, 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 into C. This is your L1, this is your L1. F1 minus F0, 2 F1, 2 F minus 2 into C. What's your L1? 62. Highest L1 is six. lower limit, upper limit. L1 is 62 plus highest frequency 42. Behind number is 19. 2 into 42. Behind is 19. Next is 15. Difference of class interval is 1. The answer comes 62.4. This is your L1. Okay. Then standard deviation is the root of sigma ft dash square divided by n minus sigma ft dash divided by n whole square into c. This is 1282 divided by 100 minus 336 by 100 whole square into 1. If we simplify this, we'll get 1.24. So, Carl Pierce's QNSC is equal to mean minus mode divided by standard deviation is equal to 61.86 minus 62.4 divided by 1.2. The answer is minus 0 0.4839. Very, very simple. No complications are there. Find out the mean. What are the steps to do? First, find out the mid value. Take the deviation 0, multiplied by f, fp dash, then standard deviation fp dash square. What's the formula for mean? Mean is equal to a 
plus or minus sigma f t dash divided by n into c. What is the formula for standard division? Is equal to root of f t dash square divided by n minus f t dash divided by n whole square into c. Then mode lies in highest frequency. Find out the highest frequency that is f1, behind is f0, next is f2. Apply. Mode is equal to L1 plus f1 minus f0 divided by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 into c. Very, very simple. No complications are there. If the highest frequency repeat, then we have to think of more skewness called 3 into mean minus median or standard division. That can be solved in the next session. Here only we assume that your mode lies in highest frequency. I solved the two problems. So see that one is individual problem I solved. One is called continuous problem. See, difference is 6, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 62. Frequency. Second one, I solved the second one. This is called the lowest limit, this is called the highest, highest limit, lower limit, highest limit, lower limit, highest limit, L1, L2, add these two, divide by 2. We can, instead of D, we can directly take D dash, 1, 2, 3, 4, multiplied by F, multiplied by F T dash. So, here 0, 1 difference, 2 difference, 3 difference, like this, okay. So, if add, apply the formula, mode lies in highest, L1, 62. So we'll go with the formula. Then standard addition is sigma f t dash square divided by n minus sigma f t dash divided by n whole square into c. It is 1.24. Apply. This call for mean minus mode or standard deviation. Hope you understand. I saw you about the two problems. One is individual problem. One is continuous problem. Any one will come in the examination point two. Very, very easy. Formula is mean minus mode over standard deviation. By chance in exam, if the highest frequency repeat, then we take the help of median. Then formula is so 3 into mean minus median divided by standard deviation. Then if you go with the quartile, this is Q1, Q2, 3. In the next session, we deal with that one based on quartile bolus method and when the highest frequency till then goodbye meet in the next session with another two problems till then goodbye